With that, they went far off to another place, where there was a great mountain. It had four hollow places, which were deep, wide, dark and smooth. And Raphael said to him, This is where the souls of the dead children of men shall gather. These pits shall receive them, until the day of their judgment, and until the great judgment comes upon them. As he said this, Enoch saw the spirit of a dead man, whose voice went out to heaven, and made petitions. And he asked, That voice which cries out to the heavens, Who is that spirit? And Raphael answered, This is the spirit which went out from Abel, whom his brother, Cain, slew. He files a suit against him, that his offspring be destroyed from the face of the earth, and his children annihilated from among the children of men. And Enoch asked, These hollow pits, why is one separated from the other? And Raphael answered, These four divisions have been made so that the spirits of the dead might be separated. One is for the spirits of the righteous, and in there is a bright spring of water. The second is for the spirits of sinners, when they die, and judgment had not been pronounced on them during their lifetime. Here shall they be set apart, in great pain, until the day of the great judgment, in which they shall be punished and tormented and bound forever. The third is for the spirits who make petitions, spirits who make disclosures concerning how they died, who slew them, and when they were slain in the days of sinners. And the last is for sinners who are complete in transgression, and transgressors shall be their companions. Their spirits shall not be destroyed on the day of judgment, nor shall they be raised from here. When the angel has said this, Enoch was taken to another place, where he saw a burning fire which never rested, nor stopped. It burned ceaselessly, day and night. And so he asked, What is this that never stops? Well, another angel, and one of his tour guides, answered, saying, This course of fire which you have seen, is the fire of the west, and the fire of all lights of heaven. They continued to another place on the earth, where Enoch saw a great mountain of fire, which also burned day and night. Beyond that mountain were seven different magnificent mountains of precious stones, three to the east, and three to the south. The seventh one was in the middle of the rest. It resembled a throne, and was higher than the rest. Around the throne were fragrant trees, and among the fragrant trees was one tree, which was more fragrant and pleasant than the rest. Its fragrance was beyond all fragrance, its leaves and wood never wither, its fruits were beautiful, and shaped like the dates of a palm. And Enoch asked, what kind of tree is this beautiful tree, which is so fragrant and fair in appearance? And Michael questioned him, saying, Why do you seek to know about the tree? Why do you wish to know the truth? And Enoch answered, I wish to know everything, including this tree. And Michael answered, This high mountain which you have seen, whose summit is like the throne of God, that is his throne, where the Holy Great One shall sit, when he shall come down to visit the earth with goodness. As for this fragrant tree, no mortal is permitted to touch it, until the great judgment, when he shall take vengeance on all, and bring everything to its completion forever. Then it shall be given to the righteous and holy, and its fruit shall be food for the elect. It shall be transplanted to the holy place, to the temple of the Lord, then they shall rejoice and be glad, and shall enter into the holy place, 
and the fragrance shall enter their bones. They shall live long life on earth, and in their days there shall be no sorrow, nor pain, nor torment, nor toil.